Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called Black Star, written by Kwame Alexander. This is the second in the Door of No Return series, and it focuses on a new character, Charlie, who loves baseball. She loves playing baseball all the time, even though in the uh, century and decade in which she lives, Girls don't really play baseball, but she loves it and does it anyway. And she's got some good friends who support her along with that. And as she goes through her everyday existence, she also has the wisdom of her Nana, her grandfather, who is able to share with her some stories and some words of wisdom from his life growing up in Africa. So as she goes through the story, she finds some little details that her family begins uh, to expose her to a little bit at a time um, about the world in which she lives that she didn't realize before. And as she becomes a little bit more aware of these things, it, they become a little bit scarier for her. So she has to dig deep to learn about her own identity from the perspective of where she lives now and her identity from her family's perspective through the generations previous. This story is a sequel to the first one, um, but it's a sequel in the way that it is an intergenerational story. So the first book is Nana's story when he was young, and this one now is his granddaughter's journey. So while Nana is a part of it and his stories come into this one, they're not the focal point. But as we know from a lot of research and just historical awareness, um, the history of one's family ends up living within them, whether they're directly engaging with their ancestors or not. So that's coming through in this as well. Um, it is a lived history of real things that happened to real people um, in the United States, especially after the slave trade, and some of it can be very difficult to read. Um, however, it's really important to be able to um, read this and uh, acknowledge the fact that it happened and how to move forward in a positive way from that. Um, this book, just like the first one, is written in primarily verse. Um, so it's great for reluctant readers, maybe readers who aren't quite as confident um, in their reading ability because there's so much white space. But despite the fact that you don't see a lot of words, the weight they carry is very, very heavy. Um, so as you're going through the book, you get to know each of the characters, you know their drive, you know their, um, their interests and the things that make them feel alive. Um, and because of that, you get to know the characters on a deeper level and you resonate with them as they go through some more challenging experiences. So while this seems thick on its face, there is a lot of white space in here and it's open to many, many discussions as kids are reading either on their own or in a classroom setting. So it is helpful to have read the first book before this one, so you have a premise um, going into it. But whether you do or not, this is a really powerful addition to middle grade classroom curriculum, um, especially as you're talking about um, civil rights and the slave trade and how intergenerational relationships work. So if this sounds like a great fit for you or for someone you know, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.